So I'm uh, Dr. Sam, a veterinarian here at the Greensboro Science Center. Uh, I've got Sam uh, Andreski, our my veterinary technician, holding on to Casper right now. Casper's about to get a uh, hoof trim, and today we're going to show you guys how to trim the hooves on goats, sheep, and alpacas. And then over here we have Mike Mach, our um, the keeper for these guys, so he takes care of them on a daily basis. Does a lot of the hoof trimming and hoof care uh, when we're not around too, but we thought this would be a good opportunity. You guys can do this at home with your own goats and sheep as well, and, and a lot of you may know how to do that already. But the two things you do need are a glove for protection on your holding hand and a nice sharp pair of trimmers. And these are ones you can buy on Amazon. I think they're probably a gardening type shear, but they are marketed also for uh, goat trimming as well. So Sam's gonna hold on to those handlebars up front. Goats can kick, but not, not like a horse or anything, so not too worried about it. The key thing is to hold on to that hoof uh, securely. Again, I got the gloved hand on here to protect my hand from potential pokes from the clippers. And we wanna hold that hoof at a comfortable position for the goat as well. If he's really kicking a lot, we might need to lower it just a bit. So, things we're focusing on are this side hoof wall here. As this overgrows, um, it'll start to fold over uh, the bottom of the foot here. And that's the part we're going to trim off because that captures uh, poop and dirt and wet muck and stuff. And it's a great place for bacteria to grow and then you can wind up with a foot rot situation. Mike, you got any grain that Casper might enjoy? Again, sharp pair of clippers is ideal here. But we're just trimming off that edge. And I got a little spot there where you can see some poop and or dirt has gotten trapped. So we want to trim that pocket out. Come on the inside. Until we get a nice pink area. Now you can trim these guys too close, uh, just like any uh, nail on a dog or a cat or, or yourself. Um, so you do want to be mindful of that, but they usually give you a warning. And if you're just cutting off these areas where there's stuff trapped, shouldn't be a problem. And this is not an uncomfortable process for them. This is just like trimming our fingernails as long as we stay away from that quick um, all this tissue is non-sensitive so that is a nicely done trimmed goat hoof We've got a nice level surface there's no more areas for the collection of uh, any substrates okay all right Casper 